Hi, thanks for joining me and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a complete surprise for me, to be perfectly honest. It wasn't what I was planning. And um, what happened was I went for my early morning walk yesterday and I went past Raves from the Grave, which is the local record shop. And I kind of always just stick my nose in to see if there's anything about. And in there, just in, um, was this. Cara Dillon coming home now it's funny because she's uh she's an artist that sort of kind of wanted to like because um she lives she lives locally you know with her husband Sam Lakeman who is the brother of Seth Lakeman I've seen Seth maybe a dozen times over the years I mean the first time I saw Seth it was a festival and he absolutely and utterly blew me away um I'll just put a little a photo or two from the, from that festival. It was the Llama Tree Festival down in Dorset. Um, goodness me, I don't know, 20 years ago, perhaps. Anyway, that was my first um, awareness of a, of a Lakeman. Um, so, yeah, so there we go. I, I, I go into raves yesterday, see this, and I thought, oh, OK, I'll... Um... So on the rest of my walk, on the walk home, I, I looked it up on, on Cubas, and I just had my iPhone with headphones, headphones on and carried on my walk home and uh, I didn't I probably listened to two thirds of the album um, before I got home by which point I was just and, and my walk I would say is through countryside and, and you know sort of early you know springtime morning sun through the trees and all the rest of it and I was just transported almost to heaven it was just stunning so I went back later and bought it came home cleaned it up and I sat there and listened to it I think probably three or four times yesterday with with my wife Jo and um, both of us are just you know almost in tears just just absolutely utterly utterly beautiful and I genuinely think this album could go stratospheric it's 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 stunningly beautiful one of the most beautiful things I've heard in, 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 in a certain respect. Let's get this straight, it's not rock music, okay? But it is utterly beautiful. Well, let me show you what you get in here first of all, okay? And then I'll run through the album a little bit. So, nice cover, that's the rear cover, produced by Sam Lakeman, um, as I say, he's a husband. And I'll just... Um, Here's the disc. This isn't the inner sleeve that it comes in. Um, that's that, but it's unlined. But it's nice, you know, it's kind of nice that it's black. It kind of fits with the aesthetic of the whole thing, but I choose to um, put them in these kind of very soft anti satic And there's the record itself. And, you know, I mean, it's a record. What is the price, 25 quid? I like the label. I like the label style very much. Um, five songs on each side. All good. But what I want to show you next is what comes with the LP. And this is really quite, I think, important. So here we go. This is the this is the full size book you get with the LP. Now I'm just gonna I'm literally gonna show you every single page of this. Um, but I will first of all, I'll just tell you ba basically how you know what the album is, if you like. So there's 10 songs. And every single one of them, you've got, well, I mean, the band is basically, um, there might be a few sort of exceptions from track to track, but you've got uh, Sam Lakeman on, I think, either acoustic guitar or piano, or both. But typically, you'll have either acoustic guitar or piano to sort of open each of the stories. So I say, I say stories, stories or songs or poems, whatever you want to call them. And that's very key to this. So Clear the Path, for instance, the first one, it starts off um, this beautiful piano. And it's it's just, it's so clear. It's very, it, it, it's, it, it's all recorded quite loud. So it's very there, really there. Um, if I had one criticism of the album, and this is really me being an audiophile nitpicking, this is not a real criticism because you know, on the radio, on the, on, you know, streamed, whatever else, this is going to sound, you know, it'll catch your attention and sound great. 
But if, if I had one criticism, I would have recorded it or mastered it. And I think recorded it probably, you know, or mixed it a little bit less loud. It's all a bit loud, so to speak. But that's that's a very, 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 very minor quibble, okay? You know, it is as it is, and it's just stunningly beautiful. But let me, let me explain again. This will give you a good feel. So clear the path, okay? So you've got, it, it starts off with this piano. And it's just, it's it's beautiful. It's, it's clear, it's dynamic. Uh, well, it's loud. It's dripping in reverb and ambience. And it just flows and, and the piano kind of it, it it's it's got the the sort of the ambience, the reverb, the recording of it basically. It has the feeling of um like and the way Sam is playing it, it puts me in mind of Kate Bush's Ariel, okay, that album, which I think is a very beautiful album, but it's a very measured piano kind of um I can't think of the tracks now, but but you know, if you, if you like Kate Bush's Ariel, I think you'd, um, this is instantly going to appeal, okay? But the, the, there's, the, there's far more, this is, you know, it's very different, okay? But the, the point being, so clear the past, it starts off with this piano and it just, it's just, it puts you into a mental, spiritual, if you like, cosmic space. It's, it's so measured, it's so calm. And to me, it just feels like, a, you know, a crystal clear sort of woodland forest stream, sort of just just tumbling through the, the forest with the, you know, early morning sun shining through the beautiful, fresh green little buds and sparkling on this stream. It's just absolutely divine. Beautiful, really. Absolutely beautiful. And then Kara starts singing. Well, so she doesn't. And then Kara starts talking. And this is the same for every single song on the album, okay? So basically they are um, songs or poems or, or stories, depending on, you know, how you want to define them, really. But she'll sing... Uh, so, okay, here we get into... Let's find... Clear the path. So, um, I think it's the first, I think it might be the first two, two um, verses. She just reads, she speaks, and she's got a beautiful, beautiful, soft Irish voice. If you, if you look up reviews, you'll see she has the voice of an angel, or read that she has the voice of an angel. And oh my God, she really has. I mean, it's, it is just, it is divine. And on top of this, and I say on top of, it's not really on top of, it's within this piano. And this is another key thing. It's not mixed. So her voice is out in front and, and the rest of the instruments are behind. It's very much mixed as a, um, everything kind of is just flowing together. But like, like I say, we've, we've, we've got, you know, some spoken words, poem, if you like, all very, each, each song has got a little, you know, a different kind of story, if you like, to it. But they're all really kind of spiritually enhancing, if you like. I mean, this is like, it's kind of one of like, like one of these hippie sort of spiritual kind of uh, self-help healing albums, if you like. But at the same time, it's just utterly, utterly, utterly beautiful um, and, and musically wonderful so she'll speak a bit and there'll be this piano in the background and, and the piano kind of sets the the mood if you like puts you into a an emotional state and then her words are just you know i mean think of your mother reading you a lullaby or, or or whatever but it's that soft it's that beautiful it's that nurturing and then towards the end of each and this happens in every single song okay and then towards the end of the song she'll go into it, she'll start singing. And and as she starts singing, um, let me grab this up here again. 
So you've got this sort of very measured, very sort of paced, very beautiful, sparkling, flowing piano. The second track is a guitar, acoustic guitar. And is, as I said, it's, it, it, it's typically one or the other. And then sort of, you know, halfway through, three quarters of the way through each song, the music, the, 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 the sort of the band um, will, will kind of kick in. And, and I mean, the band, you know, in the, in the first, in, in first instance, the first thing to sort of that really kind of comes in is a violin. And again, it's not, it's not in the background, it's not backing, it's soaring and just, it is achingly beautiful and just divine and, and phenomenal. Um, and then there, there are cellos and then there's there's bass i think a lot of it's sort of keyboard electronic bass which is very i mean the deep deep powerful big massive rich sound you'd think this would be airy fairy like little fairies dancing in you know and, and you know the only thing you'd need to play it back would be your tweeters that's, that's absolutely not the case this is massively rich. when i say powerful it, i mean i would say powerful but it kind of gives the wrong impression it's 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 rich, it's full-bodied, it's just uh, incredible. So you've got, you know, when, when the song gets going, as I say, um, sort of halfway through each one maybe, and that's when she'll start to sing. And then her voice just, it just, it is, it is a, a voice from heaven. She, she just, she sings like an angel um, and it is, uh, it's absolutely incredible. But if there was if there was you know that you you may even find that her voice gets swamped in your opinion and it's i think if you were comparing this to a lot of records it would be because she's kind of the lead singer of a band so to speak but but it is her voice is so soft so sweet um so just absolutely utterly beautiful um and what she's singing a, a, a nurturing soft caring loving words um and and um and then the music that kind of comes up around her and i do say around her rather than behind her it, it, it's you've got the piano as i mentioned you might have the you know the, the acoustic guitar um on, on most if not all of the tracks there's there's uh this wonderful uh violin there's cello on a couple of tracks there's a there's an electric guitar which which actually puts me in mind of um, Dire Straits, frankly. Um, you know the space the spaciousness in this it is it is absolutely utterly stunning. It's 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 just phenomenal. I actually know the the mastering engineer Tony Tony Cousins. I, I, I rang him up yesterday. And I, I was just asked him a couple of questions about whether he you know did a different master for vinyl CD streaming apparently no 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 just did one master he said um and that actually to be perfectly honest he said that, that the thing was pretty damn near finished and polished when he got it and i think that's that's very clear because it, it is just it's so personal and it's such an amazing beautiful 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 thing absolutely utterly beautiful i mean i i just implore you Go on to Cubas, go on to Tidal, go on to whatever you use. Go on to YouTube. There's a couple of tracks on YouTube. Just have a listen. And if it half grabs you, have, a, have more of a listen. And then, um, you know, whether you go and buy a CD, whether you go and buy the vinyl, and I'll get them onto this, or whether you just stream it, it's up to you. But have a listen to this music it is stunning and tell people about it it's one of the most beautiful things i've ever heard so anyway let's let's just go on to um onto here onto this here so clear the path we've got um this is the first track so we've got cara dylan on vocals elizabeth lakeman uh on backing vocals sam lakeman that's her husband on piano i mentioned that's the main sort of uh, accompaniment all the way through but then um Duncan Chisholm on fiddle and, and as I say that comes in almost as a lead instrument alongside her when she's when when it, it all picks up and she starts singing uh Caroline Lavelle on cello and Nick Peeney on electric bass it's just stunning 
next song, Giving, you know, it's about giving. You, you, you know, you, you get the gist of this. Um, Car on vocals, Sam on acoustic guitar and piano. Uh, and we've got cello and then double bass here. You know, it's it, you're getting the gist. Mysteries. Car on vocals, Sam on acoustic guitar, keyboards, keyboard, bass, drums, percussion. Caroline on cello and Nick on double bass. Coming home, um, I'm coming home. I, I really, really, really love, and it, and it, it, I tell you what, it's quite funny. Um, and I, I, I will be doing a video on this, but I've, I've just picked up um, Alice in Chains' Jar of Flies and, and listening to uh, Leo Staley pouring his heart out about, and, and, and you know, um, and obviously very sadly, you know, he passed away, but you know, talking about going home or his parents calling him home and him saying, no, nah, I'm all right, you know, and all the rest of it. Um, it's quite funny, but we went from Alice in Chains to Cara Dillon and and um, via the Mahavishnu Orchestra, I have to say, um, and then on to John Coltrane, but there we go. And, um, but, but coming home, and, and, you know, Mysteries ends with like, you know, coming home is a repeating lyric in the end of it. So the whole thing flows. It is like a spiritual journey. But after just having heard Dale Staley, you know, screaming his heart out, you know, and, 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 and you know, shortly before he died, you know, this is just even more kind of poignant and beautiful. But that's that's kind of got nothing to do with anything, really. It's just a, an irony of how the stars were aligning for me yesterday. Carrigan, Moss, Carl on vocals, um, Sam on acoustic and electric guitar, keyboards, Nick Peeney on double bass, and uh, Petter Eriksson Stuckey on additional acoustic guitar. This is one of the ones that's got this beautiful kind of um, dire straight sea electric in it. And then onto side two, Innis Shawan. Um, here we go. It's credits here. I understand this was all recorded basically during lockdown. Daughter. Again, very tender, very beautiful. You get the gist of what these things are, apron strings. So it's, you can sort of, you know, she's a mother. She's a, she's a, she's a mother. She's a poet. She's a sensitive spiritual soul. She's, you know, Blah 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 blah. It's 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 just it is just beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. Um the well and white sheets and and it's just it's stunning. Now I have listened to it and done a you know close comparison between this and uh the stream on Cubas and the stream on Cubas is twenty four uh forty eight I think. Yeah, 2448. Um, and the LP sounds a little softer, I would say. On, on Cubas, it's just um, the stream. It's just a little bit sort of... I think the thing about it being all a bit loud is a little bit more apparent. Uh, and it's a little bit softer on vinyl, okay? So you may or may not prefer, and frankly, I don't think there's an awful lot in it. As I said, I spoke to Tony Cousins and, and there was one mastering done for, for all formats. You know, it, it just made me think, oh my God, I would, you know, I mean, bearing in mind they live down the road, it was just like, oh my God, wouldn't it be fantastic to get them and just get them to sing onto, onto tape without any, um, in a, you know, unadorned state, I mean, um, singing onto tape, just, just, uh, just because it is so utterly, utterly, utterly beautiful. Uh, I, I don't think there's an awful lot between the sonic quality of the, of the vinyl and, and the, uh, the digital formats. The vinyl is a little bit softer and um, a little bit less sort of in your face, uh, so to speak. But that's not, you know, that's not really to criticise the, the, the digital version at all. I'll, I've... You know, that was the first version I heard and I'd listened to it over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, I mean, I've only had this a day and I've probably played it four times through already. But about the vinyl versus the other formats, um, 
I mean, as I say, look, $24.99, it's not vastly expensive. The download, you don't get any of this, okay? The CD, presumably, I guess, you'll get a five inch square version of this book. But just to look at it again, I mean, you're, you're sitting there listening to it and, and just following the words. And it's so easy because, you know, even my, in my 60 year old eyesight, I can, I can read that, you know, and, and, and just page after page. And it's, a, it, it's beautifully produced. Um, everything about it is beautifully produced. And, uh, and you can, you know, you can read it. And, and I would, having got the music, if I, if I was only playing digital for some reason, uh, or if my stylus broke, and, you know, I would, I would still get this book out and, and, and re read through the book and read the words, uh, because they're beautiful poems. They really are. You could, you could, you know, you could, uh, like I say, if you like going on a spiritual retreat, really listening to this album. Um, so I kind of, th I, you know, basically I think the vinyl £25 is worth it for the booklet alone. Um, but, you know, that's kind of, you know, the, the main point of this is the music. And it is one of the most achingly beautiful records. Cara Dillon, look her up, look this up. And um, yeah, look it up and buy it. Um, I think this deserves to go stratospheric. I really do. I think it's one of the most beautiful things ever recorded, frankly. You know, there we go. On that note, I'll say cheerio. Thanks for watching and um, catch you all soon. Okay, bye now. Bye.